The eFile Manager is one of three utilities included in Framework EDI or Freddy. It can be used for viewing, editing, and troubleshooting EDI files. To open an EDI file with the eFile Manager, just select the EDI file, then click on Open. We also have to add its corresponding CEF file. Since we are opening an 837 EDI file, we would load an 837 CEF file. When you hit OK, the EDI file is parsed and validated against the CEF file. If there are any discrepancies between the CEF and EDI files, or anything that does not meet the X12 or EDIFAX standard, it will get listed as errors at the bottom here. This first error says that value B7 is not valid in data element 128. We can double click on the error to take us up around the area where the error occurred. In this case, we landed right on where the error happened. We are on data element 128, which has the offending value B7. To check what values are valid for this data element, we open up the same Ceph file with our Ceph manager. which would be the 837 Ceph file. We then go to the same location, which is the REF segment, and expand it. Then expand data element 128 and continue to drill down further to see the valid codes allowed for this element. It shows that the value 87 is the only value allowed here. But if we look back at the eFile Manager, it has the value B7. We can edit this error with the eFile Manager by right clicking on the node, then select Change Value, and then change the value B7 to 87. And then hit OK. The second error was caused because the segment count 54 in the EDI file is not correct. The actual count is 53. So we can do the same thing to correct this problem. Just double click on the error message to take us up around the area where the problem occurred. Then right click on the data element node. Then change the value from 54 to 53. Nothing is saved yet until you click on the Save icon. To see if the corrections we made were successful, just load the EDI file again. Select the Open File icon, then click on OK. The old screen will get refreshed with the new file information. This time around, we do not get any errors. In the eFile Manager, the EDI segments are arranged in a hierarchical tree. You can expand on a loop to view the group of segments that make up the loop. Segments can be expanded to view the data elements and values they contain. In this example, the first data element has a value of P. The second data element has a value 18. The third data element, A, B, C, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, etc. An obvious advantage of viewing EDI files with the eFile Manager is that segments, data elements, and code values have descriptions in them. For example, the SBR segment has the description subscriber information, the first data element has the description payer responsibility sequence number code, 
and the code value P has a description primary. The second data element is individual relationship code and the value 18 means self. If you open up the same EDI file with a text editor, these values look quite cryptic and meaningless. For example, here is the same SBR segment in raw EDI format. It doesn't have the description for the SBR segment, nor does it have the descriptions for the code values P and 18. And that's basically how the eFile Manager works. The utility can be downloaded for evaluation from our website at www.edidev.com.